Hi there everybody, it's Rosie here at inkybuttolive.com Thank you for joining me again today for another card making tutorial Hope you're all well We are using frosted gingerbread today um, the, the bundle that is uh, So it has some really lovely uh, coordinating dies um, Really my interest was in um, these lovely filigree uh, dies in particular the snowflake and the star but um, other useful elements in there for Christmas time and then you can make these cute little um, candy sweets okay um, from there uh, and then we've got the coordinating stamps so all the sweeties there this lovely border uh, which I really must use um, and then um, some coordinating stamps with the dies okay so that's what we're using and I was having a play about with um, the products and um, uh, yeah just just sort of came to me and I ended up making this card with the snowflake and then I ended up making this one with the bauble so um, we've got some I want to call it tone on tone but it's not really tone on tone it's because because we've got blue ink going on to blue cardstock is what I mean but it's not the same colour this is balmy blue and uh, night of navy in fact and then putting the filigree over the top and I thought that was just flipping lovely really to be honest so I just matted it and layered it up onto some squares of card so the white is two and a half and then I went up by an eighth of an inch so the balmy blue there is um, two and three quarters and then just to add a bit of something to the background, um, I decided to put one of the square vellum doilies behind it, which I added some coordinating ink to, um, to provide that look. And then I put some rhinestones on it, so I didn't bother putting a sentiment on. So I wanted the impact from the from the image. So um, what we're going to do is another variation of this, and we're going to use the bell. So the dies have sort of an inny and an outy, so that will cut out the outline shape and then we give this more sort of delicate um, layer as well. And I'm going to go with um, a grey colour palette um, because I think uh, a bell possibly could be used for other occasions as well, so I'm thinking weddings in particular. Uh, maybe a pair of bells, but I'm just doing the one today. So there's my layers of cardstock. Um, we've got um, smoky slate there and basic grey as the uh, coordinating colours that we're going to use on there. So the same measurement, starting at two and a half with the outer one being uh, two and three quarters, and then we've got the one in between. I've got my doily ready to um, apply some ink to white car base, and then we've got some scraps of card here so we want to do our stamping onto that piece of smoky slate so I'm going to bring in the coordinating basic grey ink there and um, ink that up and I'm going to plonk it straight in the middle of that piece of card which is very, oh so wasteful because I probably could have put two on there but there you go but it stands out and it's a really, really pretty image just on its own. Um, it'd be cool, heating bast and, and all sorts of things. So um, that's other options for you, particularly with it being a bell. I think it'd look nice in um, silver, gold, whatever, embossing. So that would be really nice, wouldn't it? So the outie die coordinates with that uh, stamped image. So we can just lay that over the top to run through. A machine and then I've got the little filigree bit there so we shall we be less wasteful with this piece of cardstock shall we I've probably got a smaller scrap in my um, little collection over there so both of those are going to fit on the plate at the same time so we can run those through so I've got my um, die, die cut machine is just off to um, my right here so I'm just going to run that through quickly there's that sweet bell and then the uh, that's how well that's cut look on my plate it's just completely um, stuck on there that's not a problem at all you just 
use a pokey tool or whatever to, to just lift that up and those pieces will just fall out no bother whatsoever it's nice and easy okay uh, the stamping up dies and the stamping cut and emboss are really are a perfect combination you get great results when you use the two together so that didn't take a moment or two just to get those little pieces off which of course need to go in my little bin here um, so that's ready for next time you don't want to leave scraps of card on on your cutting plate because they'll end up embossing into the any other projects that you do um because they'll be like you know raised up just grabbing a silicone sheet um just in case i get into a mess who ever heard of me getting into a mess with anything yeah wet glue if you've got them you could cut the um you could put some adhesive sheet onto the back of the cardstock before you die cut it which would save you having to try and apply glue to these little tiny bits but if you're really gentle and just sort of put it in strategic parts and just sort of spread it out um it shouldn't one it shouldn't ooze too much and uh two it will dry really really quick okay so just the sm smearest of little bits of glue on there and then just position that over the stamped image okay and um i know you're thinking oh wow we've just covered up all that pretty stamping but um when you're kind of up close on these it's quite nice to be able to see that there's something interesting underneath the die cut if you know what I mean I think it works particularly well on the snowflake to be fair I think that worked really really well but you know if you don't try you don't don't know do you right so um, I'm just going to um, put a block over the top of that just to be um, sure that that gets oh, adhered so my non-stick mat is, is brilliant because it means things don't slide around until you want to actually slide things around of course so just going to bring in some scrap grid paper here and I'm going to use a blending brush with the same basic grey ink just to add just a little bit of colour to um, this doily. You could leave it plain I guess um, but I just wanted them to just sort of stand out from the background a little bit so um, it's up to you how dark you want to do this but I think I just want to take off the whiteness if you like just so that it um, stands out from the base card so it won't look like much until we put it onto the white background okay so that's just lifted that enough for it to, to sort of pop out a little bit, okay? All right, so that's super duper. Again, we can use our wet glue. And just put um, some dabs here and there. The very center of this is going to be covered by our decorative um, die cuts so a bit of glue squidging and um, being able to see through it isn't going to matter because we're going to be covering it, covering it up so we'll get that into position just looking to, for it to be evenly spaced at, and um, particularly at the sides and just judge how high you want it and again we can just make sure that's going to set by just putting one of our blocks on top of that we can layer up our cardstock now I've got a suspicion that the um, this tape runner is going to run out so I'm going to be a little more frugal with that not that it's a problem to change it it doesn't take a minute but I just um, would like to uh, finish up showing you guys this card really simple 
nothing too complicated about this a lovely layering on there just realized i've done those layers the wrong way around uh, because what i should have done was have the dark layer and then the the light layer i don't suppose it matters but you know um but that's what i did on my other sample all right this is going to be added onto the doily so i'm just going to use some minis because i'm going to use minis for the um the decorative portion so might as well just use the one product rather than getting two out obviously in your own craft space if you've got the choice and you want to use both then go ahead and do that and i thought i'd use the minis so that block has hopefully done its job and we can center this so we've got nice convenient um symmetry on this um doily so we can look to make sure it is level left right top bottom um i think that's somewhere there without getting my head right over the top where you guys are right now and then all we need to do <laughs> is add our lovely bell super cute there we are oops all those little pieces of paper all static on my fingers and again what we just want to do is just centralize that into that little panel and we could, could just as easily have done two of those and have them you know at an angle or whatever and like i say i'm just going to go with um the theme that i've gone with um all my other samples just like that and not add a sentiment at all and then the other th running sort of thing through the um the other one was the addition of some rhinestones and uh, the strategic points at which you want to do that now i'm thinking these little um scallopy bits at the bottom here would be nice adorned with some jewels so we'll just pop those oops a daisy this one doesn't want to play does it let's rescue it from over there shall we so before they ping off press them down and in place I'm using a tried and trusted little tool that I've had for flipping ages. So whilst I've been a demo for six years, I've crafted for a lot longer than that. So I do have stuff. I'm talking to crafters, you know, you've all got stuff, right? <laughs> oh man, we crafters or hoarders, I don't know. I'll let, I'll let you guys decide whether you're a craft or a hoarder. They do say, don't they, it's two hobbies. You, you can collecting the stuff and using the stuff. So there we go. Our little embellishments across there. So, you know, it's really up to you what whether you want to do the... Um, uh, embellishing or whether you don't or where you want to put them or anything like that so um, entirely up to you your card of course this is just a serving suggestion of what you can do with these particular products okay so I hope you've uh, found that useful and give, it might have given you an idea even if you don't particularly like um, this particular layout it may have spurred some inspiration for something else this one's definitely my favourite. But there you go. And then we've got the got the star as well. So I might I might do a star one as well. Just just for um comparison. There you go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um as always if you check out the description, all the um links um for the products we use today will be there should you wish to take a closer look at any of those and of course that does give you an opportunity to put them straight into a shopping basket and um, purchase those from me 
Uh, thanks ever so much. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon.